Making a to-do list before 5 p.m. Central Time might be helpful today. Why? Because the moon's not talking to anybody, and sometimes that makes it difficult for us to stay on track. My name is Sarah. I'm a mom and an astrologist. This is what I do. I share these things here. If you prefer to get this stuff in writing, check out the space you click under my name. It teaches you how to make your own birth chart. The newsletter sign up and my Patreon is there as well. So let's talk about what I mean by making a to-do list. We start off our day with the moon and cancer. So you're gonna have all the feels and we're building to the new moon that's happening on Thursday. So it might feel extra sensitive. Then about five o'clock central time, she enters what we call a void of course period for eight and a half hours and won't be moving into Leo until 1.40 a.m. central time. So during that time period from about five to about 1.40, it's a time where you might feel a little bit spacey and you might feel like, ah, oh, the boundaries are like gone everywhere. And you might feel tired. You might feel like you want to meditate. You might feel like, huh, I just want to veg out in front of my television. All of those things are possible with a void of course moon. Making a to-do list if you have stuff you want to accomplish may be helpful. Going on first date is probably not a great idea because starting things during a void of course moon doesn't always end up having it go well. It doesn't mean it won't, it just may not go well. Then I suppose you could blame the moon. Um, the reason why the boundary thing came up is because the last planet she talks with is Neptune and Neptune is like boundaryless. So if you are prone to overindulgence, maybe today be aware of that a little bit more so that you can do what you need to do to be you. She moves into Leo, like I said, at 1.40 a.m. on Thursday, and then we start to build to the full moon. The full moon in Leo is going to feel very different than this moon in Cancer has been. It's going to be really a lot of big energy. Um, so if you are a teacher or you are a parent, know that your kids might be very possibly very dramatic tomorrow on Thursday because we have the full moon on that day or on lunchtime just saying who knows dramatic doesn't mean bad all the time right just might mean they're really excitable that's always fun as being a teacher I was one for 14 years anyways um let me know what you're gonna do with this energy